What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be on what I use the base clear for and my favorite thing to use it for. So it gets me out of a problem. So if you guys know what this is, you know what I'm gonna be doing this video on. So this stuff can get you out of a bind. No matter how much you clean this panel, with all this stuff on this wheel and these newer vehicles with all these armor alls on them, this step will get you out of fish eyes and all kinds of problems, guys. So let's get into this one. All right guys, so here's the problem. When you see this on a tire, you know it's been slinging up on the side of these vehicles because these wheels stick out and they shoot it all across the side of this car. So I'm gonna show you a trick today on how I use the base clear to uh, eliminate fish eyes. And it being a water base, it doesn't react to, uh, you know, different types of chemicals that cause fish eyes because it's a water base. So it's not gonna react like a uh, solvent would to petroleum. So. This is how I use my base clear. And when I see a new vehicle like this, you know, this is a newer vehicle and they got the underhood all armor all up because it's, you know, gonna be on the lot and look good. You know, I clean these panels with uh, lacquer thinner first, then I go to prep saw before I sand them and then I sand them and then I clean them, you know, with all the steps. But this is one step here that you can do that will really help you guys out. If you see something like this that has a lot of slime on it or a lot of armor all, all over it or any kind of coating and you just can feel it on the panel, I do this. So let's get into this one. I'm gonna wrap this truck up and we're shooting a fender. We got a new door and a bedside and this little uh, bumper piece. So let's go ahead and wrap this thing up and we'll shoot it and I'll show you how I use my base clear. guys so we got it bagged up and now's a good time to make sure that you have this back tape and sealed up tight with this bag because you guys know those vapors can come out of that under the hood with all that armor all that's on there so seal it up tight make sure everything is sealed that way now you got all that stuff sealed up tight and you don't have any chance of uh having any of the gases come out around the wheels because it still will gas out so Make sure you're tightened up. And we're gonna go ahead and wipe it with Prepsol and then we're gonna go ahead and wipe it again with water base. So we've already done that twice. We're putting all our uh, you know, things in play here to try to get us to not have any problems with this job. And it's a black one too. So let's go ahead. We're gonna Prepsol it, waterborne it, and then I'm gonna show you what I do to uh, pretty much eliminate a chance of any problem. All right, so I've been trying out the microfibers also. These. These here Nortons are some of the best. I like these blue magnets. And we're gonna use these when we wipe it down because I'm trying to get this thing as clean as possible. And I've been having good luck with the uh, microfiber towel. So we're gonna use two new ones for the water and, this, and the uh, you know, wax and grease. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing tacked off. So let me go ahead and clean it. And then we'll uh, finish this part of this job. That's the uh, wax and grease, and now we're gonna do our uh, waterborne white. All right, guys, we got our sealer mixed up and we got our base clear mixed up. So we're gonna go ahead and seal it, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, base clear for a wet bed. And any of you guys that know about painting for years used to use the waterborne primer to seal off old paint, because that was the only thing you could put down on certain things so you wouldn't have a reaction, because that water base isn't aggressive. So I use this water base as the same way when I'm trying to seal off fish eyes, because I know they won't react to the petroleum. So I go ahead and seal it all up with the water base 
So let me show you how I use this stuff and it won't change the panel on this one because it's dark. So sometimes you gotta use this base clear and it really works well when you need it. So we're gonna go ahead and seal this one and then we're gonna go ahead and put on our uh, wet bed. So I mixed it up just as normal base. And this is in any of the paint lines, they have their mixing clear for their three stages. You use the same wet bed or the same base clear that you put your three stages in, thin it out with a little bit of water and put it down. So I'll put it down over my sealer and that'll eliminate a little bit of that blend edge on the sealer. And you know, I told you before, this sealer really doesn't have one anyway. So let's seal it and then put it down and I'll show you how I do it. So we got it mixed up in the 3M gun like I showed you. And what makes this good, make sure you have a clean gun. And that's what I like about the 3M gun because you put that new head on there and there's no chance of having any leftover pigments in the gun because you don't want to have anything blow on this black of course because it's black. So that's another great feature of the 3M gun. You got a new gun every time so you can change the head out or have a gun designated for your base clear for jobs like this. So I don't usually use a lot of base clear, but when I know I got one of these, I want to pull out all my uh, you know, stunts to make sure I don't have any problems because the last thing I want to do is have a fish eyed up brand new truck that's black. So I clean it two or three times before I sand it. Then I sand it and I clean it again. So it's not as if I'm not cleaning it. I'm doing everything I can and I'm doing this as one more step so that I know that I'll have a good job. So. Let's go ahead and put this on. So that's crazy looking stuff, isn't it? The first time I seen that stuff, I said, whoa, look like a chameleon. So that's gonna seal up that panel now because you guys know water and oil don't mix. So I know now that I don't have to worry about any fish eyes because now I've sealed that panel up with a uh, water base. So I'm gonna finish this job up, guys. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let's finish this one out and see how it comes. So you know what time it is and we're going to be using the DV1 as normal and uh, with the C2 cap at 22 with the CC200. So let's see if what I did is going to stop all the fish eyes and eliminate them guys. We got to eliminate those fish eyes. No painter wants those and I never want to see them. So let's clear it.
All right, guys, so the job came out good. We don't have any fish eyes. And uh, so if you ever get in a bind and you think you got one that you may want to do this to, it'll definitely get you out of having fish eyes if you guys are spraying the water base. And you also can do this with the uh, solvent base clear. Just dust your panel and don't put it on wet and it'll stop them too. So I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for the next one, guys. <laughs>